Welcome to the Guide Exile. To start this tool series off, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the PoE trade macro. I've mentioned this tool in previous guides, and some simple features that you can make use of with it. However, there are many more deep and interesting features that this tool has and that you may have never known about. I would like to thank the developer of the trade macro, Ariome, and the developer of the item info macro, Artie, for helping me find out all the small details of the macro to present to you exiles. Now let's get to identifying and trading items. First off, you will need to get the PoE trade macro, but before we do that, we will need to get Auto Hotkey. Auto Hotkey is a free open source scripting language for Windows that allows users to easily create and run small to complex scripts. You can easily download the software from their site, linked in the description below, and follow their instructions for installation. Auto Hotkey will automatically latch the scripts that you run, and you do not need to run it manually. Now after you have installed this, head over to the PoE trade macro GitHub site, linked in the description below. Here we will click the link for the latest release, under the instructions, and download the zip file. Once you have downloaded this, you will want to extract the contents into a convenient location on your computer. For myself, this will just be in my documents auto hotkey and PoE trade macro folder. Now all you have to do is double click on the run trade macro auto hotkey to start up the script. On startup, the script will check for new updates and if there are any, it will prompt you if you wish to upgrade. Upgrading is handled automatically and you will not have to go back to the GitHub page to manually download and re-extract the script. If prompted for an upgrade, simply accept it and select the same location that the PoE trade macro is currently installed. Overwriting the location will prompt an automatic compressed backup of the current installed version. We can now ensure that the script is running by checking the system tray in the bottom right of the taskbar to see the PoE trade macro icon. Now that the script is running, we can make use of it in Path of Exile. You will have to launch Path of Exile in windowed or windowed borderless mode in order for the macro to work. Now let's take a look at some of the most important and handy use cases of the macro. Item Info This is the bread and butter of the macro, and grants the ability to quickly check item properties without having to reference the wiki or database for item and affix information. To get the item info, simply hover over whichever item you wish to check and press Ctrl C, and you will be presented with all of the available information about that item. This includes item base, item level, affixes, affix tiers, and whether or not the affix is a prefix or a suffix. This is incredibly useful for checking rare items to see whether or not you may have stumbled across an item with tier 1 affix rolls, or if the item has an open prefix or suffix that you can craft on. The regular item info can stumble on hybrid affixes, where it may not be able to differentiate whether the affix is a prefix, suffix, or actually a hybrid. To better break these down, you can perform an advanced item info by pressing Ctrl, Alt, and C. This will bring up the item on pathof.info, a very useful site for getting an even more in-depth breakdown on your item. This site is currently in beta and is still adding support for many new items. Now that we can check the item info, how do we search these items on poe.trade? League selection. Well, the first thing you'll want to do is select which league you would like to be searching when going out to PoE Trade. This is of course so we get the correct item values for your respective league. For this, we can press Ctrl L to cycle through the current leagues until we get to the league we wish to search for. By default, you will be searching the current softcore temporary league. Default search. For starters, the most general and useful function for price checking is the default search. This will search PoE Trade by the name of the desired item and return that item's current lowest prices along with its average and median prices. The function is performed by pressing Ctrl D while hovering over the desired item. The default item search is best used on maps, divination cards, sealed prophecies, currency, gems and quality gems, fragments, keys, and unique items that do not have important variable mods. Basically everything that you would search for on PoE Trade just by item name, without concern of affixes. This search is incredibly useful for quickly identifying valuable items, especially for checking many leveled and quality gems that you may have a stash tab full of. If you are checking uniques, always make sure to check the affix ranges with item info, control C, so you do not undersell a well or perfectly rolled item. In this example here, we can see that Abisko's collar has a quantity roll range between 50% and 100%. Performing a default search returns cheaper sales than if we check for our 77% plus quantity biscos in another search. Before we continue, you may have heard of the term price fixing thrown about quite a bit. This is when players will intentionally price items way lower than their actual value, but never actually sell them, so that they show as the first price when searching those items. You may wonder why would they do this? Well, when new or even veteran players check the prices on these items, whether it be through the macro or through PoE trade itself, they will look at these cheapest values first. Most of the time, these new players will then price the item at that lowest price, so that the players that were price fixing can buy that item up at the low price and turn around and sell it at its regular market value. 
So to combat this, you'll want to ensure that the average and or median prices align with the lowest prices listed by the macro, as well as the average age of the listing. If the median price does not align, and or the listing dates for all of the items returned have been there for days or weeks, make sure to manually check PoE Trade for more listings of the item to ensure that these items are not being price fixed. Blindly selling at the lowest price can result in severely underselling your item. Unfortunately, this is an available function of the current free market in Path of Exile, and it's not the fault of this tool. So always be on your toes about your price checks. Advanced Search Since the default search will not search item affixes properly, we must do an advanced search. The advanced search is performed by pressing Ctrl, Alt, and D while hovering over the item. This will bring up a dialog with all of the item affixes and values laid out along with the ability to remove and edit their minimum and maximum roll ranges. This closely resembles the PoE Trade interface for affix selection, but is already set up for you as if you imported the item into it. From here you can adjust which bases and affixes you want to actually search for. For the most part, as mentioned in many of my other guides, you will want to loosen the affixes and their roll ranges to find other similar items, as no rare is identical. Once you have the item search set up how you would like it, you can either bring up the PoE Trade search through the internet browser, or through the macro on-screen overlay. This is a very handy function, as it allows you to quickly and easily check rare items you find to make sure that you do not miss out on a major sale, or even just learning pricing of certain items. Here are many useful shortcuts that the macro also offers. Item search. Pressing Ctrl I will bring up a dialog that lets you do a mini custom search on PoE Trade without having to navigate to their site. This makes it easy to quickly search for items that you may not have to use the general search function on, or for doing a quick query on rare items that you may be interested in. Item age. Pressing Ctrl E while hovering over one of your listed items in your public stash tabs will show you how long it has been listed for as long as your account name is entered within the settings of the PoE Trade macro. This is very useful if you are trading many items, and you see that one is not sold, and has seemed to have been sitting there for a while. This can give you hints whether or not it has been overpriced for too long. In general, you will want to be pricing your items so that they move, and letting them sit in your stash for numerous days or weeks can lose you valuable currency, as items only get cheaper as the league goes on. Wiki Page Pressing Ctrl plus W while hovering over an item will open a wiki page for that item, or item base, in your default browser. This is very handy for quickly getting information about current conundrums in your Path of Exile play. Hideout To quickly go to your hideout from a town or another hideout, you can simply press F5. This macro types the slash hideout command into the chat. Stash and vendor search A very neat and useful feature is the stash and vendor search function. Pressing Ctrl F over an item will search for that specific item base within the stash or vendor interface search bar. This is insanely useful when looking for certain item bases, gems, map bases, currencies, divination cards, and or other common items that can get lost within the massive amount of tabs or quad tabs you may have. If you use the alt version of the search, Control alt f you will be able to make a broader search only looking at the base type of that item. So rather than searching for a specific base, like a spider forest map, you would search for all of the items with the map tag. Stash scroll. If you're always struggling with the best way to scroll through all your stash tabs while trying to control click items into your bank, well, fret no more. Pressing control while scrolling your mouse wheel up or down will scroll your stash tabs left or right, no matter the location of your mouse pointer, making depositing items while cranking through maps much faster and easier. Pause and close script. You can also pause the script by pressing the pause break button. To quickly close the script, you can press control plus escape. You can also exit the script by right clicking on the system tray icon and selecting exit. You can access the settings menu by right-clicking on the PoE Trade Macro icon in the system tray and selecting the PoE Trade Item Info Settings. This menu has many different global settings for the macro, most of which are straightforward as well as having descriptive tooltips when hovering over them. For the most part, all of these settings can be left as their defaults. However, some notable settings include being able to change the number of items returned on searches. This can be useful for combating price fixing or severe price undercutting by being able to see more listings with the overlay. The ability to change your keybinds if the default ones are unwieldy or conflict with other setups you may have. You can also adjust many of the default search options for PoE Trade, such as Gem Search Thresholds. By default, it will only consider gem levels for the gems above level 16 when searched, with no range on its level or quality, meaning that it will search for the exact matches to that gem. Base currency type that will be returned for item values and exchange rates. Basic settings for buyer and buyout options. Pre-selection for automatically checked off mods when performing an advanced search. This means you can select something like life, and every time you perform an advanced search with Control alt d the life affix will always be checked off if it exists on the item.
This tool is extremely useful and invaluable to any connoisseur of Path of Exile. It provides massive utility in identifying item information and value at the press of a few keys. I recommend that everyone at least give this macro a try, even if you are not big into trading or crafting. It is extremely helpful in assisting your learning of item affixes and value, which will further your knowledge, efficiency, and wealth in Path of Exile. If you are ever having any problems with the macro, make sure to always check out the PoE Trade Macro Wiki and FAQ, both linked in the description. There, there is also some good information on how to add your own macros to the tool through their additional macros.txt file. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, Exile.